Apple Jays, and today I'm going to do a cooking video. Um, I'm going to make Chinese beef tomato. So I've got a piece of meat here, so I'm going to cut it in pieces. My mom used to make this when I was a kid. And you also can make rice with it on the side. And you can also either eat this on the side or you can put it over your rice. I like to put mine over my rice. Of course, I don't make too much rice now. So once in a while, I'll have my rice. And then you just cut it like this. Make sure you guys wash your meat, chicken, all your, you know, I always wash my meats and my chicken before I cook it. depending what kind of meat you use so there I got my meat cut so I'm going to um, rinse this cutting board and I'll be right back so I'm back now I'm going to cut the bell pepper you can use the green bell pepper the yellow bell pepper I just got the orange one and then you you cut it in squares as well. And this is how you cut it, just like squares. I'm just using one bell pepper. You can use, depending on how many you make, how, you know how much you make it's just like I said it's just L and I so I just got I'm gonna just put a one bell pepper in there and then I'm just gonna use this just put onion and you cut that in blocks as well, just like this. I call them blocks. Just like that. Just like that. Like I said, you can add more. And like I said, it's just L and I. So bean, it's, be it's called Chinese beef tomato. I'm gonna cut three of the tomatoes, I already washed it. Let's cut the ends here. And you can use any type of tomato as well. And I just do the slices like this. I just cut them in slices like this. My, my knife so I'll add more tomato because it's called you know Chinese beef tomato
This is a bigger tomato, so. So I will, I'll be back. I'm going to um, heat my pan and I'll be back. I am back. So I got my pan was heated up. I'll put it down a little bit. And I sprayed it with some pan. So now I'm going to put my meat in there. Let me wash my hands. Then I'm going to add a little bit of the meat tenderizer just to soften the meat up a little bit. Get that meat up, see? It's already cooking. I just put the, I put it on low because I didn't want nothing to splash up in my face when I put the meat in. You just stir it around. Just add just a little bit more. Tenderizer, just a little bit, not much. around a little bit. So I'm going to cover the pan, let the meat cook, and I'll be right back. And I'm back, and there's the meat right there. So now I'm going to add the onions. And like I said, you can double double your your um, onions, you can double your tomatoes, you can double your uh, bell peppers. Like if you have more, you know, a big family. Just, just stir it around in there. And then you can add your uh, bell pepper. And then your tomato. But make sure you, you cook your meat first before you add your vegetables in there. And then just make sure it's just mixed up really good in there. And you don't want to overcook your vegetables. Then you add this packet in there. I got this from um, my Oriental store here. And it's called Chinese. You guys can sell about the links. Yeah. Chinese beef tomato. And you just add it in there. And then you add one cup of water. And then all you have to do is just stir it around. Get it all in there. Just stir it around. When my mom used to make this, she used to use the green bell peppers. We always, we always used to have it with rice. 
So that's what I'm going to make tonight. I'm make some rice. If you put the green bell peppers in there, it makes it like a color, you know. It's really nice with the green bell peppers. But I just got the... I just got the orange one. I guess that's the orange one. Kind of like a red orange. So now I'm just going to let it simmer in the pot. Then when it's done, I will show you guys my Chinese beef tomato. Well, my Chinese beef tomato is done and that's what it looks like. And I've got my rice cooking. Sorry, it's crooked. I don't know why my phone's crooked. But that's what it looks like. And it smells delicious. Mmm. And like I said, um, you can use the green bell peppers. You can use the different color pe bell peppers. It doesn't matter. But like I said, I didn't use the green bell peppers. But it still smells delicious. Mmm-mm. -mm. And like I got my rice cooking right now. So if you like this kind of videos, make sure you guys hit that like, hit that notification bell to be notified. Sorry about my phone being crooked. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button below. And until the next one, you guys all take care and peace out. And there is my rice.